As the general population becomes more environmentally conscious, commuters are seeking greener options. Coming up, how one public transit agency is investing in the future and reducing its carbon footprint. Each day, more than 3 million people in Massachusetts commute to workplaces, the majority of them in cars. One report out earlier this year found Boston to have the worst rush hour traffic congestion of any city in the United States. The MBTA on a typical day uh, serves, serves 1.4 million trips um, to our customers. Public transit on a passenger mile basis has a much lower carbon footprint than driving, for instance, in a single occupancy vehicle. It also reduces congestion, fewer people on the roads, fewer cars moving slowly in and out the city, emitting uh, greenhouse gases. So we believe transit provides a significant benefit in this regard. The City of Boston's goal of being carbon free by 2050 and some of the ways we're working to be a partner with them is we are exploring ways uh, to transition our bus fleet first to hybrid vehicles and eventually to all electric vehicles. The subway system is already uh, electric. We think we have a role to play in this transition and we look forward to working with our partners in the city. The MBTA is in the process of introducing new cars on the red and orange line. That service is going to become more reliable and we're also going to add capacity there. Transportation is now the largest source of carbon emissions in the United States. In many U.S. cities and towns, single vehicles have made it the single greatest polluter due to emissions thanks to so many cars on the road. But what are the statistics compared to other modes of transportation? We've come here to the production line to find out how these new cars are helping the environment. The new car will be powered by uh, electric uh, instead of use the oil and the gas. So we believe, you know, for the energy assumption, that will be the best choice for the public. And how about the insulation for these new cars? Is it better? The uh, old car was made uh, 20 years ago, but right now, you know, we use all the technology. And our assembly group, they use the latest installation procedure to make sure we provide the best quality car to the MET as well as the public passenger. So how many people work on the assembly of these cars? So it's around the 60 or 70 people working for one car from step by step until the final assembly. And what stage are we in right now? So this is just the beginning of the assembly. So you see the workers here, they are just cutting the wiring. So next step, they will grab the, all the equipment here to install the equipment. I actually love the amount of space that's in here. It just makes it feel very roomy, very comfortable. Yeah. The lighting just makes me feel like there's a lot of daylight. During the design stage, you know, we uh, try our best to make sure we can have uh, more space for the passenger. We put all the control equipment behind the corner hatch and try to save the more space for the passenger for increased quality of the seating. So uh, that's why, you know, we have the final product here. So we believe, you know, we can make the uh, uh, passenger or the public happy. 